hey, hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out guys, today we are finally tackling that ocean monument that's been lurking next to our island for so long. And since you enjoy me draining things so much, we are going to be doing just that. That's right. So I hope you're ready. Grab your popcorn and grab your favorite designated beverage. And if you're ready, let's get this episode started. All right, guys, so we are finally tackling that ocean monument. I know you've been looking forward to it, and it's time, guys. It is time right now. So I killed the guardians and collected some sponge off camera, simply because that only took like 10 or 15 minutes, and I also collected all of the sand in one of the previous resource gathering episodes. So if you're looking for that or that kind of content, make sure you check out some of the previous episodes. So I guess now that we have everything out of the way, the real grind started. And let me tell you guys, this thing took a while, like a long time. I think all in all we spent around 11 or 12 hours just placing sand and draining the ocean around the monument. It was a lot guys, and I have to say, it, it really doesn't look like a lot in, in the time lapse, but just placing down all of the sand in the ocean monument I think took around 6 hours alone guys. And then another 4 or so draining all of the water with the sponges, and then finally we spent another hour or something like that clearing away all of the sand in the middle. And guys, guess what? The monument inside isn't even drained yet. So I think we'll be keeping that as well as tearing the whole thing down for the next episode so that we can finally then start working on a guardian farm. That's gonna be fun, so I hope you're looking forward to that. So one thing I really want to address, which I think a lot of you will probably be commenting about, I've seen it on, on the previous videos as well, is the efficiency and stuff like that of draining the ocean. And to that I only have to say guys, I know this probably isn't the most efficient way of clearing the ocean. I know there are flying machines or other contraptions out there which basically let you do this whole thing AFK. But when you have to factor in all of the materials you have to collect to actually pull this off, it really isn't that much slower compared to other methods. I mean, collecting 6 double chests of sand took around 1 hour to complete, at least for me. And if, you're, if you were to use, say, Ilmango's design, which basically covers the whole area with sand and uses around double chests of it while doing so, you'd need at least 4 hours to collect all of the sand that you need. Then you even have to factor in collecting the slime blocks for the flying machines, which, you, which would mean then you'd have to build a slime farm, which would even take more time, and then we'd also have to build the entire redstone contraption, and yeah, I, I think you get the, the picture. So I think what I'm trying to say is it might seem very inefficient right now, what I'm doing, but actually when you factor in all of the work which you have to put in for the other methods, it's actually not that bad, you know, at least I think so. I don't know, you'll have to leave your feedback in the comment section. And by the way guys, I'm not saying that the other methods are in any way bad, I think they're actually a lot more awesome, just I think for what we're trying to do right now, this is probably the quickest way to pull the whole thing off. Anyways, I think I'll keep the commentary a little shorter today, there's not a lot to say I think to this. I mean. You know what, we're draining an ocean monument, I think that's enough, or I hope so. So yeah, if you liked the video, please smash the like button guys, this thing took way too long to complete, too long guys. So yeah, it would really mean a lot to me if, if you smash that like button, that's right. <laughs> oh gosh, I, I'm done for the day. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this part, I hope you're looking forward to the next episode, where we will be tearing down the monument and we will hopefully be starting on the Guardian Farm itself. So stay tuned for that guys. Anyways, that's going to be it from me. I'm tired and I need a break, so I guess it's time for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the time lapse. <laughs> 